Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more E4 as Ragusa. One year to go. So it's time to fight Mr. Automan. We are going to knock out secondary participant Magdeburg. We're going to go fight. Can't really easily get to the Knights, but um, we stack wipe the Knights. They might want out with a blockade. So this army goes to Magdeburg. These guys are grouping up somewhere. I lost count. You guys are so nice! Ah! <laughs> Dorkfire! <laughs> Thank you for the gifted subs. Thank you! Thank you! Oh my gosh, wow! Uh, let's get ready. I'm gonna send this army down here. Nitro, you're allowed to just stay there and, and like, siege this. You, you don't have to keep, like, tricking him. Here, I'll... Just stay on siege your capital. I'm glad I helped him out with that. He wasn't sure. He's got a three-star general with three siege pips, but he's not sure if he should stay in one province and actually siege it, or if he should just keep pretending like he's sieging it. Oh, I'm glad we cleared that up for him. Now he'll, uh, you know, get his capital back. It'll be swell. You guys are so nice! <laughs> Fox. Ooh! Thank you! Oh my All right. god! Need four more Merc Infantry in order to get 30, so we have a full combat width for that. I think we're actually safe to full Carpet Siege this region. You hate that voice? <laughs> you saying that's just gonna make people make make it happen more often, you know that, right? That's kind of how Twitch chat works. Wow, Magdeburg's already out. Good. Head down here, see if we can maybe knock out the knights as well. We don't really need prestige. We're just taking, like, you know, whatever we're able to get from these guys. It's always nice to force, force princes to become orthodox right after the official faith of the Empire has been named Catholic. We'll force them to become orthodox and laugh at them a little bit. Okay, Commonwealth is on tech 15. We're on tech 16 now. The knights are threatening to actually take that fort. Um, 24 stacks, not really sufficient to, to like super efficiently deal with his stack. So I'm thinking we still wait a little bit longer. Need that merc and now one more. That is the sum total of all mercs that we're going to build. 30 is quite a lot, but we can afford it. It's possible that I can get him to break his siege just by parking this army adjacent to him. You don't necessarily need to fight it. If he sees a large enough army nearby that could attack him, since he's trying to siege down a defensive fort, he might just decide to to leave. We can actually walk right around him. Let's do that. We'll go after Genoa. Or Trent. So we're drilling with that stack. This is mostly mercs. 80% war score. I, I guess we don't really care about the knights. I think we are taking a humiliate. I want to make sure that we have our projection resolved for quite a while. Maybe he will retreat if we start marching into the province? I don't think so. No. Republican tradition or loose stab. Name event is earlier. So 333 military points versus losing stab, which is worth roughly 150 right now because we're on positive two. I hate this event a lot. But, technically, it's better to spend 150 Monarch Points than 333, so... Alright, so he did abandon his siege. Because we have an army nearby. And it looks like... He doesn't want to fight us in the mountains. I don't want to park a 26 stack in Carnton, because Auster's already there and will suffer attrition. And we're pretty low on manpower. 
But we can keep him from being able to do anything if I want to be super diligent. Gain stab, sure. If I want to do this all the time, I can just keep blocking him from moving. It's kind of a lot of work though. Here, why don't we march over to like Graz? See where he wants to go. We have 84 war score. Negative 22 reasons for peace. Lose 300 ducats to make Genoa lose 10 war exhaustion. He did lose his capital. And he's occupied by rebels. He does have 11.46 war, war exhaustion right now. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll take a loan to help out our subject, whatever. Wrong province? What are you talking about? Ooh, for freedom! Just gained 10% morale of armies right before the war. With, us, uh, with Mr. Ottomans. Wrong province, wrong province. What wrong province? I clicked on Genoa here. Didn't I? Or was I looking at... Couldn't have been Spain. We don't have vision here. I'm not sure. Doesn't really matter too much. Okay, the knights being in the war is blocking this deal from going through, it looks like. They have 48 enthusiasm. Blockading his capital is not going to do enough. That'll only give us at most 25 war score. Truce with the Ottomans is up. He is at peace. He has no truce with the Mamluks. We are harder to beat than the Mamluks, so if he's going to declare war, I bet he goes after the Mamluks first. And maybe we can soften him up by renting Kanatiri. Yep. Uh, like I said, my rector, <laughs> our spies inform us that the Ottomans are considering attacking the Mamluks. <laughs> Shocking. So... One thing that's really great is that if you're going to fight the Ottomans anyway, and you rent out a good 20 stack to the someone that they're also hostile to, then we can have the Mamluks pay for like our Merc stack, for example. So we're not paying for it during the war. A huge financial swing. In the meantime, our army is pretty much in position. We just need to wrap up the war with Commonwealth if we want to be able to rent out Kanatiri. Mamluks are not going to have a huge amount of money, but... Excellent. Got that fort. Okay. So, if we stack wipe the knights, then... Him having no army, and having his capital blockaded, is probably going to be enough to knock him out of the war. Let's get a blockade established on the knights. Get that army stack wiped. And now he'll be on... 21 enthusiasm because of his knight's military strength minus 12 instead of knight's military strength like plus 10. Now we have enough to actually white piece him or even take six ducats. Nice. And that puts us to 99 war score with the commonwealth, which means we can peace out. Ottomans still haven't declared, so we still have time. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Everything's perfect. Return all the Kievian cores. Give us monies. Be humiliated. All sounds great. There will be a coalition. Not really. Kiev. Enjoy some provinces. He has no forts. Alright. Last thing we're going to do before we focus on the Ottomans then is add some zone of control. We were going to build a fort for Nitra. Um, Pennsylvania's got these two covered. Looking at zone of control, he's got this entire southern region. So probably just going to have to build adjacent forts to cover the whole area. And then Kiev has just his capital fort. His capital doesn't project zone of control, but it will take care of the devastation in these two. So if we just build a fort in Kiev... Of course, Kiev is a center of trade. And it's been a while now, but you guys recall the arguments I made for not building forts in zone of in uh, centers of trade. Where would you guys like to build them? 
If we build it in box, that doesn't cover Sopron. This province covers all four. You'd build one here. I hate having adjacent forts, but... Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to rent out a significant army to the... Fortunately, our army is stuck zone control-wise. And actually, we might need to get Black Flag to rent them out. No, no, we have access to the Ottomans because he has access to the Ottomans. Um, still, it's faster to ask to... Uh, probably faster just to get Black Flagged. I Sultan, Mamluks have accepted the demand for the province of Atikh. Oh, interesting. So instead of actually declaring the war, he just threatened war. Weird. I don't think I've ever seen them do that instead of um an actual war deck. It said that they were going to declare war, not that they were going to threaten war. Kiev will change his capital to Kiev, won't he? Um, I think he should. Yeah, he did. That actually changes things a little bit. So, it is his capital, which makes me want to build a fort there. And Bratislav doesn't have zone of control, but it's at 0% devastation now. So let's just build a fort in his capital, so that he doesn't get occupied. Winnika, maybe? Um... There's no defensive terrain around here. I still don't like the idea of... Having forts adjacent to each other. It was like a waste. I guess that means that the Ottomans are going to go after either Biapas or us. If he attacks me, we, we get to call in Russia defensively. Let's wait and see what he does. We'll drill for a little bit. This army's black flag, let's march it home. And is this core done yet? It is. This was supposed to become a state. Need to spend a lot of admin points to get this full cord. Vatslav is adjacent anyways, but it's the same. 28 mercs. Are there still mercs in here? Apparently yes. Table State gives monies. My mouse is doing weird things right now. What religion are we? Ragusa starts off Catholic, but we flipped to Orthodox based on where we're at in the world. Nitra has desire for this land, but no claims on it. Let's say we also desire it, maybe get him to claim something. Let's tell Kiev that we want him to fabricate on stuff. Russia only kind of wants it, so we should be able to market his vital interest without him getting super pissed. Georgia has fabricated on Gaznukhna. So we could go to war with him if the Ottomans don't decide to attack us. Russia will not defend. Circassia, and we could connect our borders, which I'm sure some of the map steering experts in chat would like to see happen. So let's just do a quick war with the, pretty much just the Mercs. Actually, I kind of want to keep the Mercs near, near the Ottoman border in case there's a war. Or rather, when there is a war, because there will be a war. We're definitely fighting him soon. Can we actually build regimental camps for a quarter force limit? We're over the limit by just one. This is wasteful. I is a monkey is now hosting me for up to four viewers. Nice. That's a good number. Russia is also at war with 
Sweden, and Denmark. They are the aggressor. They want to conquer Braslau. They have it occupied. What mission do I have complete? The Conquer New States mission. I saved that for the Third Age. Boot camp can only hold 56k troops, so we're already at the limit there. Let's have this army go to Severin, and then we will start drilling them as well. I don't really want to be the aggressor here. Tunis... Actually, I'm worried that... I don't think Russia's going to defend us. If they're not willing to defend Circassia, they're probably not willing to defend us either. Why do I save it? Because of the... Harsh treatment discount. Stacking with a third age bonus for minus 50%. Allowing you to get minus 83% harsh treatment costs. It's the easiest way in the game to stack absolutism in the third age. Well, I'm kind of disappointed. I had this all planned out. The Mamluks were going to get attacked and we were going to do stuff. And now Ottomans have ruined everything as per normal. That, that's their, their deal. That's what they always seem to do. All right, I'm going to send 10 of the Merc Infantry over with some of the Cav. We'll send over just a like a bare bones stack to go fight Circassia. Bohemia just declared war as well. I think the war goal uh or maybe Kuban, whatever. Make a difference. For the most part, our subjects will also take care of the war, so I, I could probably just ignore it. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Space Cadet 4422, thank you for your Twitch Prime. Two months. I de gas, I de gas, I de gas, I de gas. What does that mean? I don't understand. I de gas. I de gas? I de gas. Flanders is now independent. Odd. We could become defender of the Orthodox faith for an extra 5% morale of armies. Would help out against the Ottomans a little bit. Got some no-guy separatists. Build up the navy. We're never going to really compete with the navy of the Ottomans if you're talking about trying to beat him on the sea. Got 136 total ships, 86 galleys, 11 heavies. Ugh. I could just continue to build more light ships though, just so that we have more pirates. Go like 50. Ten transports. I did mention that going to ten would be nice. We've got seven right now. Just captured one. Um, sure. Let's go one, two, three. Go up to ten. Subjects already did a great job. They already knocked down the Circassian fort. Um, it's like we're ready to peace out already. Culture-wise, this is part of Georgia, so let's let Georgia have it. And Genoa wants Adich as well. Culture-wise, none of this is good for him, but we kind of want this just to connect the lands. We have a connection through Kaffa. We can go Kaffa, Montrega, Adich. Did I accidentally transfer to Genoa instead of Georgia? I'm blind. 26 diplo points this way because Circassia is 15 dev. We do have influence ideas. Unfortunately, I declared using Genoa's claim instead of using Georgia's claim, which would have made this province a lot cheaper. 
I think we just take a little bit less. I don't really want to pay Diplo points right now. We just give some more land to... You know, Genoa needs more clay. He doesn't have enough power. Let's just give it to Genoa. That's fine. I don't even care. I don't want much. There. Border's connected. Border beautification complete. Be happy. Arumba is the Iron Man save manager not working now. Two years of not being updated and it just crashes every time. That's odd. I don't know why it wouldn't work anymore. Feels like the code should be pretty easy to maintain. Okay, well, I mean, we could just declare war directly on the Ottomans ourselves. We don't necessarily have to wait for them to attack us. Just wasn't really super keen on bringing in their allies and having to knock them out separately. Well, I'm going to think about it for a little bit. The thing's flashing at me. I'll be back in a sec if you're watching this on YouTube. Other way around, Twitch. Watch this on YouTube. Stick around. I'll see you again in, in the next episode. Other words, whatever. Ah, bye. I'll see you soon. <laughs>